guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new what's up so as you can tell by the title of this video I got lip injections if you could or could not tell by my last video or any of my posts on Instagram I did I got them so in this video we're just gonna kind of go through my experience with that and we're just gonna talk about it okay hey guys so um first of all it's really early so i'm like really tired second of all sorry if i look crusty sorry if my voice sounds really raspy i haven't recovered from brockhampton this weekend and it's just really early so i literally woke up like a half hour ago um but i am on my way to go get my lips done um yeah that's about it um i'm just gonna do like a few clips here and there so you guys can kind of see what's going on what's getting done all that you know and yeah so these are my lips now bitch where you know no nothing too much but there's still there's still something there like i i have lips but not a lot um they're a little bit uneven i tried to make sure i didn't have any foundation on my lips because that happens sometimes so i tried to get like all that off but you can see my lips are a little bit uneven one seems to go a little bit higher than the other and i think that also has to deal with how i talk because i do talk a bit sideways like my mouth goes towards one side so i think that might have to do with it so what i want to get out of this is i want more symmetry i want more volume and i just wanted to make my face look overall better because i just feel like my lips are too small for like my whole face in general because i feel like my nose is too big for my face so maybe if my lips are a little bit bigger you know it'll even it out and i won't need a nose job <laughs> but yeah you know and just before i go into this i just want to say i like my face how it is you know but i i, I just want to see like you know i've i've wanted to do this for a really long time i've done a lot of research so i'm I'm really excited to see how this is gonna go so I'll keep you guys updated when I get to the doctor's office and hopefully I'll be able to film a little bit while we're actually doing it and we'll go from there so stay tuned so yeah you can see in that first video I got like kind of a top lip but still not enough you know I'm white so I gotta work with what I have you know or our Caucasian jeans don't offer us much, okay? My Turkish jeans and my African jeans and my Spanish jeans, they don't necessarily pop out enough for me to have a top lip, but just enough just for me to have a little bit, you know? And my lips, as you can tell, they were a little bit more flat. They didn't really have any volume, especially my top lip. It would get a little bit more thin when I talk, where as right now, I feel like it kind of just like is still there when I talk. It doesn't just like curl in. Same thing like when I smile too. So next video you're going to see is me actually getting the injections. So if you don't like needles, then I would skip through this because there's a lot of it. Okay. So Gia, what I'm going to have you do is open your lips for a little bit. Open a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put the first injection in. the second injection. It's normal for your eyes to water. We know you're not crying. Everything's nice and even. Good. And all we're doing now is contouring it a little bit to improve the symmetry. So, good job. Alright, and pressure. And we'll be back in just a minute with a cold pack. So that was me getting the actual filler. Um, my eyes were watering. It hurt like a bitch. There's some numbing 
in the actual filler but that didn't really kick in till after he did the top and then he was doing the bottom and then it's starting to kick in and then when he went to do the top again then it hurt less but like that hurt like a bitch okay I, I I didn't really know how much numbing it would give me but it wasn't as much as I expected so that's why my eyes were watering I was literally like digging my nails into my arm because I was like oh my god please help me why am I such a crackhead why did I decide to do this I don't know why am I such an impulsive person I don't know and I never will know that was probably the worst part of it the needle was I shit you not like this big and he put like that much of it in my lip I was like bro what are you doing where you can tell where he injected everything was like he put more in the filtrum right here that's so your cupid's bow is right here. Let me put like a little diagram next to me so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. So, diagram here. He put more like my filtrum to kind of give the lift effect so my top lip appears bigger and more plump and also so it's more even because one of them was a little bit more lopsided than the other so you put a little bit more there and a little bit more on the sides to give him more like volume effect and stuff and then he didn't really do much on the bottom he just put like some here right here but most of it was focused on the top and especially the middle and i don't know if you guys can tell right here in the middle i have kind of like a bubble going on i don't know if that's swelling that is gonna go down I don't know if it's gonna stay like that so I really don't know I haven't iced in like five days like pretty much like two days after I got them done I stopped icing after that because I was like ah, I don't need it like I didn't bruise or anything so I was like yeah I don't need it so I don't know if this swelling in the middle part is gonna go down because it does feel a little like lumpy so I don't know about that in the next video I'm gonna show you guys is when I got them after Okay, so, if you guys can tell, I think you can tell, my lips are way bigger. Um, oh my god, I just exposed my acne. Oh. But they're a little swollen right now. I know the top is, at least for sure, like, I can, like, feel the filler. The bottom, it looks like the top is way bigger than the bottom. But I think it's just because it's definitely more swollen because he definitely put way more, like, here, like, at the top. Because I wanted it to be more even with my bottom lip. Overall, I really like it. I feel like it fits my face way better. Way, way, way better already. But the swelling is going to go down. And they gave me an ice pack to deal with the bruising so it doesn't bruise and all that. And I'll keep you guys updated within the next few days. See how it turns out. I mean, it gave me a lot more volume. And it still looks, like, really natural. Like, I look like I was born like this. Like, okay. I will keep you guys updated on the swelling. And we are gonna go from there so yeah that was after you could tell they were really swollen and they were really like firm like when I touched my top lip it was really firm you could almost like feel the filler and it was it was something it was weird it was weird and then the current video I got right now that I took literally like 15 minutes ago let me just put that in there all right girlies what the flip is up um I'm kind of late on this update because I said I would do it like a few days after, it's been a little bit over a week. Today's Thursday, so it's been a week and two days since I got my fillers. And I think the swelling's done. I'm not sure. I still got a little bit, like, right here, if you can see. Right here. It looks kind of like a bump, and it feels a little bit hard. So, I'm not sure if that's, like, extra swelling or if it's going to stay like that or whatever. But also, I haven't iced it in a while so that's probably why but as you can tell the swelling went down so this is pretty much how my lips look for the most part now after so i mean swelling definitely went down from when i first got them i might have a little bit of makeup so they might be a little bit smaller but i tried to get all the makeup off like the foundation off my lips completely so you can see better but as you can see like right here my filtrum is a bit higher so it creates the illusion well not the illusion it just like creates my lips to be like bigger like the top lip bigger and they are a little bit more plump and have a little bit more volume than what they did before i got the filler like even on my side profile i don't want to show my side profile because she's a little ugly but they stick out a little bit more i didn't take a side profile before which i should have sorry 
but they do stick out a little bit before they just got a little bit more oomph or whatever and yeah i'm gonna shut up now and i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit more so so yeah that's how my lips are now but just so you guys are a little bit more educated on everything let me just like go ahead throw some facts and some questions that most people probably would want to know or maybe would ask me so you guys are just aware i got lip fillers because for one i just really wanted to try them out i'm not really the type of person where it's like if i didn't get lip fillers it's like oh i feel like so ugly if i don't get lip fillers i'm gonna be ugly forever not really i mean kind of it was like I feel like they would fit my face better because my nose is like just a little bit too big for my liking so I was like okay well if I get my lips done maybe they'll just be a little bit bigger and then I won't have to get a nose job like you know but I could have gone like without doing them and like now that I got them I know like if I want them still or if I don't want them which is gonna lead to like a few other questions right now They were, for me, $450 for one syringe of regular Juvederm. They were actually $450 because I got them from an event at the plastic surgeon that I went to. So they gave me a discount for the event price. But they're normally $500, so I got $50 off. And anywhere else you go, they're going to range from, like, I want to say $400 to $700 just for one syringe. You gotta make sure you save up them coins. The experience, like I said, was painful, but after I got through like the needling and whatever, everything else was like pretty easy. Like I didn't have any bruising because I religiously iced my mouth. Like the whole day and then the whole day after, I kept ice on my mouth like the whole time. So I didn't bruise at all, just like very little right here where I still got a little lump. And swelling wasn't that bad, like that enormous or anything, because I did only do one syringe, so it's not like my lips were huge, like Kylie Jenner or anything. I obviously wasn't expecting to have results like her. But overall, it was like pretty okay. If you can tolerate the pain, then it's not super bad. And I don't think I'd get them again, honestly. One syringe didn't really do enough. To make my face look completely different. I don't know if I do look different than before. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do I look any different? Honestly, I don't really have the money to be able to do two syringes where you'll see more of a difference. But honestly, it didn't really change anything about my face. It didn't really change anything about myself. And I think what it taught me is that I should just accept myself for how I am, you know? Accept yourself. Love yourself. So I think after these dissolve in like five to six months, I'm just going to leave them and I'm not going to get them again until I'm like really making that coin, you know, because <laughs> right now I'm working a minimum wage salary. So like that's not going to work out. So until I really get them coins, maybe I'll do it again. But, you know, for right now, I'm chilling. If I don't get them again, it's whatever. I really don't care. Alright, so that is it, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions or things you like to discuss that I didn't talk about in the video, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and also share with someone you think would like the video. You know, maybe a beauty guru, maybe someone that does plastic surgery themselves. Maybe you want to be like Trisha Paytas or James Charles or like, I don't know, whoever else gets lip fillers. Kylie Jenner. If you know someone that wants to be Kylie Jenner, you can show them this video. Then they'll be really educated. Well, that is it. I hope you guys have a fantastic Saturday. And please don't forget to love yourselves and love yourself for the way you are. And I will see you next week with a brand new video. Peace out. Take hold of me. You're flowing through my own light. Ecstasy. Ecstasy.